right, let's get to our, the best story of the uh, day. UFOs. We'll, we'll, UFOs. We'll leave on a high note. Yes. Um, <laughs> Harry Reid. Uh, former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. Uh, Democrat out of uh, Nevada on Saturday, renewed his call for the United States to fund UFO research, reasoning that the country must pursue studies of space phenomena in the interest of national security and science. Quote, if anyone's and then come to find out we're going to what you're going to learn here in the story is that he was behind uh, some funding of these things going back to 2005. Yep. Uh, But Obama put the kibosh on that in 2012. If anyone says that they have answers, they're fooling themselves. We don't know the answers, but we have plenty of evidence to support asking the questions. This is about science and national security. If America doesn't take the lead in answering these questions, others will. Read on Twitter, link to a Saturday New York Times report about an advanced aerospace threat identification program, a covert Pentagon project which investigated uh, unidentified flying objects. What's great about when this kind of stuff comes out, let me scroll up a little bit there. What's up with these jackets? Those things look alien to me. Yeah, that, well, you know, obviously I was doing uh, uh, some Google shopping, <laughs> and this is the kind of clothing I was looking for. You're right. That does look like... Where are you hanging out on the weekends, Fish? Well, no kidding. It looks like something uh, from the Star Wars universe or it something. It does. And I like it. So... Um, uh, the newspaper reported that despite the decision of the Department of Defense to defund the project in 2012, its backers say the program remains in existence. I think this is set up for a new Harry Reid Netflix show, personally. I don't think it's real. <laughs> and uh, Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program will be appearing, uh, debuting on Netflix sometime soon. Because, I mean, that's perfect. You, you, <clears throat> you know, these people who are creating, they write these movies and these little TV series and stuff like that. They see something like this and they go, oh, there you go. There's my next TV se- series. Well, there was two things I was fascinated by as a kid growing up. One of them was the JFK assassination, and the other was UFOs. Um, I, I, I don't follow it that closely, um, but I was always fascinated by anything I could read on, on UFOs. And to me, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, obviously, at first, it's very easy to dismiss as we're blowing money and, and we're, you know, this is a waste of time and a waste of resources. And um, But again, I, I find it hard to believe that we're the only uh, type of living beings uh, in the universe. Uh, and two, the most fascinating part about this story, without a doubt, is the YouTube video. Oh, yeah. This one right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we, that's the Twitter. Wait, hold on. That's yeah, we got to play the YouTube video because it's easy to dismiss this as, you know, like, a oh, kooky old Harry Reid kind of thing. Right. And uh, until you watch that video, you're like, wait a second. Is this the where did that did, did the video end up being on the uh, already it's there? Show? I think uh, you, you scrolled past it. This right here. I don't know, because I'm not. Oh, it's you can't not see what's on the screen. Oh, oh my, I guess I can do it. Over. My bad. My bad. So this one right here. I think that's a... Uh, that was just a... That's a screenshot. Yeah, where is I thought that? it was embedded in the story. No? No. We'll see it. Um, oh, well. I know I watched Son it. A, Son of a... Oh, wait. You know what? Let's just do this. Glowing ores and black money. All right? Let's just do this. And see if uh, I, just, I wonder if it'll come up. Probably not. I was going to say I wonder if it'll come up in my uh, YouTube feed. They are not. All right, New York Times isn't let me. I, I guess I've uh, I've I've gone to the New York Times too many times this month. Maxed out. Me, yeah. Maxed out. Yeah. You... Same thing happened with the story this morning on the uh, Washington Post that I uh, pulled up. They're like, hey, I see you love our writing. Why don't you pay for it? Because because I. 2017 man <laughs> yeah all right well let's just get back to the story itself then yeah if i don't have the uh the video but well, what'll be interesting to see is if uh you know he continues to get the funding for this i i think it's very necessary uh in a weird way i think it's necessary well, that we 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 figure out because there is enough evidence out there i think to justify the the fact that we need to figure out what the hell this is. But they're also saying that this is still going. This is what I think the cool part of the story is they're saying that the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, um, although it was officially defunded, has is still going. Kind of like, uh, what, what was that? Uh, uh, oh, heck, that, that, that organization in Scandal. 
The, the Men in Black? <laughs> that was like, no, it was uh, the TV show Scandal, where they were like these mercenaries and they'd go around killing people and stuff, but it was like a completely covert uh, government program that even even uh, nobody even knew it was being funded. So Harry Reid, who is a long, has long held interest in the space phenomena, spearheaded the start of the research program in 2007 when he served as a Senate Majority Leader. I wonder if he's ever had a run-in with a, USO, a UFO or an alien or something like that, is that, if that's why he's so, or if he has a memory from his childhood that he's, he's positive he saw an F- UFO. Wasn't it uh, uh, Jimmy Carter that uh, said he had an alien encounter? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Harry Reid has been uh, going at this research program in 2007 when he served as Senate Majority Leader. The program reportedly received about $22 million in defense funding. See, that's the thing is I also we don't we don't need to look at this from a defense perspective because what's happened. What I think happens here is you get people in the defense contracting world who then manipulate people like Harry Reid to get $22 million out of them. Right. When this kind of builds the quote unquote military industrial complex. Right. Uh, so I think that's just this is probably just another one of those because we have scientists, we've got NASA, we've got people looking for intelligent life in the universe, and we haven't found anything close yet. So settle down. As soon as we find that, you know, we get the that signal we're like, oh, yeah, they're, they're right over there. Then we can go ahead and start transferring money into the defense part of this project. But right now, I think we're good. You can pull all that money off the table and let NASA and the other, the other scientists around the world keep doing what they're doing. Do you believe that now we've talked and, you know, we're on the same page when it comes to there is no doubt in my mind that there is something there is going we're going there is intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. But the big question uh, to people like you and I, Johnny, who do do believe that, do you think that we have been visited? Do you think there's other uh, life forms out there who know that we exist and have been doing their own little uh, feeling around and probing? Uh, I, I, well, that's the only way that it would make sense that we're unaware of them, I think, uh, would be because they have advanced technologies that would prevent us from... Like they could be in the room right now and we wouldn't even know it. Yeah. Monitoring our communications. I mean, uh, again, you look at this video, and I'm about to send it to you. Um, and uh, again, would would we know it when we see it? Do you see the uh, the comet or the comet or the uh, meteor that's entered our galaxy or our solar system? And it's shaped. It's like long and narrow. No. And so it's shaped like a cigar. Oh, which, they're saying that they think it's a, it's a, it's a defunct uh, spaceship? Well, there are those. All right, here's the video now. Wait, I got to pull this up over here. Do a little bit of this. So the you're going to want to have the audio up because the audio is what really sells it. I mean, these are fighter pilots who are apparently chasing this thing. Dude, this is fucking going on, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. That's not our LNS though, is it? It's not. It is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like another thing, it's rotating. That is, that's, that is unnerving at the end. Yeah. As it rotates and continues to move forward like that. Well, but, and, and these are fighter pilots. If this were, let's say, a commercial flight, then you could say, okay, well, these pilots maybe aren't up to speed on. And they might be drunk. Whatever. Commercial pilots. <laughs> we, they're, they may not be up to speed on whatever the government's doing, right? You know, maybe these are drones. Somebody was saying, you know, maybe it was a drone and that sort of thing. Fighter pilots would be well aware or informed of the fact that there is something else up there with you. They would not be told to chase this thing down, whatever it is. Put that back up again because I, um, I want you guys to watch right here when. It all of a sudden rotates. Yeah, it stops and then rotates. That's not our LNS though, is it? It's not that is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's like another thing, it's rotating. It slows down and then it rotates. Um, the program that began in 2007 and was largely funded by the request of Harry Reid, who is a So this is the video that they put up, um, but there was no details about that video. Did you see when you watched it? 
Like where it came from? Do, uh, is it I all think or- that's where I saw it last night was on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. So. I think that's the one I saw. Uh, I think, although I do think it is on YouTube, not that um, the, not that it would have much, much more detail than that, I don't think. What kind of details are you thinking? Well, the thing, when it comes to stuff like that, I mean, in the end, we're making a lot of assumptions. You and I are making a lot of assumptions right now. These are Air Force pilots. This is official. Blah, well, that blah, blah, was blah, in blah. the story, I think. Um, was it not in the, the, the tweet that I sent you? Uh, the, no, that was just about the 2007. That was just about Harry Reid. Uh, the story is about Harry Reid. Um. No, listen, that's not the only video. There's plenty of videos out there, those uh, very compelling stuff that you see over Mexico City from a couple years ago. They're all around the world you see this stuff. So let me so let me just ask the question again. Do you think... You, I know that you believe that there is intelligent life in the universe. Has it made contact with us here? Has intelligent is intelligent life right now buzzing around doing their own scientific experiments? I'm going to have to say yes. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not to, again, maybe in very, very small doses, like what we just saw there, where they just kind of pop in, pop out, you know. Um, Observe what's going on here on this planet. Yeah. You know, take a look at, you know, the way we would experiment on any other right. planet. They come here, take a look at the minerals and resources and things like that, and then, uh, and then go back to where they came from. I... I want to believe that, but I I just don't think so. I just, I don't know. I think these are all, all these things that we've seen and all the pictures and whatever we can explain else, you know, and, uh, we can explain away, but I just don't think that we have been visited because here's the thing we can't, there's nobody in a, you know, close to us. So if whoever, whoever would be visiting us is not visiting us by flying through space by approaching the speed of light and staying there for 10,000 years at a time, a hundred thousand, a million years at a time at near the speed of light to get from one place to the other. If they had that, if, if they're, they're skipping around the uh, galaxy, then they've got the technology to cut, cut little uh, slits in the universe or however that works. And boom, you know, you get into the veins of the universe. And next thing you know, you've popped out somewhere else. That would normally be, uh, you know, 100 million light years away, but it only took you 10 minutes to get there, uh, which I'm not I'm not ruling that out as a possibility. I just feel like. But I mean, look at these civilizations, look at that have that have disappeared. Look at the fact that, you know, the whatever it was that built the pyramids. Right. Why is it that we are not until recently with uh, very specialized and heavy machinery have been able to duplicate that type of of structure. Oh, uh, so you look at so, some of the stuff that w- that humanity's already accomplished and said we had some extraterrestrial help. Well, because based on history, right? Based on what we know about that period of history, uh, there is no logical way where they could have created those structures without some sort of sort of assistance. I personally disagree. I think that we have Wait, but then the it, case is the case is then then when then where are the instructions? How do we not where did that education get lost? Those uh, are all great questions, but I don't think the answer is there was never any instructions. It was aliens. Uh, because you have to remember these things were built thousands of years ago and they've been conquered over and over and over and over again. And every time somebody conquers a new land, they go in, they wipe out their their technologies, their uh, all the things that made them, history. them, their yeah. history and all that stuff, you know, disappears. Not only that, but if you go back to those those times as well, that stuff wasn't common knowledge. You know, people that had that kind of knowledge, they were special and they were the keepers of that knowledge. And you had very small groups of people, priests and whatnot, that would be the the keepers of this technology and not, and whatever, whatever. So if uh, just a handful of people went down, well, that technology was going down with them. And so I, I believe that we've had, you know, the stuff that we've had today, not all of it, not, you know, lasers and stuff like that, but a lot of the things that we have discovered, let's say in the last 2000 years, I think are things that we have rediscovered that humans have, you know, have popped up a few times over the, uh, but even still, even still here in 2017, we have not figured out how to replicate the, the pyramids for instance. Okay. Or Stonehenge. 
I, I, I think it's fascinating. Um, uh, I just sent you the link. And so the video, uh, and it's another, I don't know if it's the same or different New York Times link, but it says uh, the, the video was an encounter between a Navy FA-18 Super Hornet, an F-18. So that's a Blue Angels plane we're talking about there uh, and an unknown object. It was released uh, by the Defense Department's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. And then people, you know, because I love watching this stuff on History Channel and that kind of sort of thing, they'll also tell you that the reason the government is putting out this video is uh, to acclimate people to the thought or to the uh, knowledge of aliens uh, existing. Uh, the New York Times will let me go to their site. So I'm What's a super easy way locking. to tell that you're Yeah, so I'm going to see if this one will. At Pentagon, try mysterious and, UFO glowing. Try an incognito. Maybe it'll. What, what, what's that? Oh, I'll show you after the show. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a way so, you, so you, you're you not being tracked online. What? I didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> uh, skip the ad here. I don't know if this is. All right, go ahead. Cosmos News. What did you click on? It's a video. Oh boy, this looks fun. <laughs> what are you subjecting us to? I have no idea. Okay, they're showing Harry Reid and New York Times. They're on top of this. A UFO above the Pentagon. What if there's a UFO that perfectly fits into the middle of the Pentagon? The New York Times has learned that the U.S. Department of Defense quietly funded a program, <laughs> Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification, designed to explain UFO reports. Is that a computer? Is that AI that's reading that? Probably. Reports. The program was initially funded in 2007 at the behest of Senator Harry Reid and sent most of its money, $22 million per year, went to an aerospace firm run by his friend Robert Bigelow, who's absolutely convinced UFOs have visited Earth and has been making inflatable habitats for yeah, NASA. Yeah, sounds like an AI. Uh... The money stopped flowing in 2012, but the program is technically active to this day. Many details oh of the my. program remain under wraps. However, cool it graphics. frequently included videos of encounters between American military aircraft and mysterious objects that defied explanation, such as aircraft that flew at high speed or hovered with no apparent source of propulsion. <laughs> You're fascinated also, by this, aren't you? it wasn't a source of shame for the politicians that supported it. That Reed said it's one of the good things he did before he retired, one of the while the things. late Senators Daniel Anu and Ted Stevens also backed the program. All right, well, then if that's true, you know, that, that stuff you were talking about earlier, then people know, you know, then there's there's government organizations and government officials around the world who know that the aliens are here. Look, if, if this program's not being funded and it's still operational, that tells me that the government does know more than uh, they're alluding to. All right. Well, Trump, this is where we need you to uh, go off the rails in this one, too. Instead of being crazy in these other categories, why don't you go ahead and just uh, focus your crazy on the UFO thing and uh, see what you can find there. We should do REM's Man on the Moon for this one. Yeah, we should do uh, – <laughs> yeah. he, sh he should open up Area 51. Just pass an executive order that opens up the gates and let's just let people just start flooding into Area yeah, 51. Yeah, why not? See, see what they find. We'll find nothing. Absolutely nothing. And like it. No, they're just flying people into that base on a daily basis for no reason. They're working on stuff. <laughs> working on alien DNA. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I mean, honestly, I don't think we've been visited by aliens. I just think that we, if we have had or then I just. But we have. You've seen the other videos. You were talking about the ones from Mexico with the, 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 or the, the lit orbs and stuff. Uh... Until I see it in person. You know, until I see it in person, until the day that I'm looking up and going, holy shit, <laughs> that's not that's not from this earth. But again, I think that's why they trickle out these videos and this information. I think it's to 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 get people acclimated to the fact that this is a very real thing. OK, so your think thought about is the fact, that, that the this fact information that nobody's talking about this. I think if, if they were to happen, they'd be like, yeah, OK. Like, you know, I think most people would be like, yeah, I kind of expected it. And, 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 like, nobody's talking about this. Now, the political angle on this is that the guy who's encouraging Harry Reid to fund this project is a prominent donor of his because he happens to be from Las Vegas, uh, Harry Reid's district. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, when you see a is video... Is he in defense contracting? Most okay. likely. <laughs> but when you see a video like this, how do you not say, you know, maybe we should look into this a little more? Um, no, like I said, I, I, I like I like the idea of looking into it, and, and NASA is, and SETI I think is the other 
Sai, I think is the other one. Seti, yeah. Um, but uh, but do we need to be pumping tens of millions of dollars into defense contracts? We already aliens? are. We already are. You're probably right. <laughs> There's there are already millions of dollars going into programs and projects and uh, covert operations that are completely blacklisted from public information. I just I still find it hard to believe that there can be unif- you know UFOs um, interacting with governments or groups around the world, and they're all able to keep this stuff under wraps until they want to release it, and that's but. But then again, I mean, tomorrow, if all of a sudden we wake up and there's a headline, by the way, we've uh, been interacting with aliens for the last 50 years, it wouldn't surprise I wouldn't be shocked. I, I wouldn't be walking around going, oh, my God, what do we do now? They go, oh, I knew, son of a, 